Bonjour, mon ami. Welcome to Le Petit Wist. Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to Le Petit Wist, which in English is the Little West. Now, this map is in France. And the file size is 205.18 megabytes. It's a lovely little map. If you like, just a little bit of farming. The author is Tom Agri. And it says, Welcome to the west of France in the department of La Atlantique. You'll find two farms, cows and pigs, around 55 fields and various functions. I hope you like this map, and I must say, it's a very, very beautiful map. Uh, it is small. Um, the hedges do have collisions on this map. So first, and this is where you spawn when you first come into the map. If you come into the map for a second time, you'll spawn at the house. And uh, I'll show you where that is shortly. Right, first of all. Let's look at the map, and also, would you please give this video a thumbs up. Now as you can see, this is quite a small map compared to a normal map. And you do start owning a little bit. So we own this cow farm here, cow pasture, fields 17 and 19, fields 23, and a cow pasture down here, 46. I like the idea. You could take your cows out of this farm and put them in pasture for the summer. Rather good, but I don't know if you can collect milk there. We'll have to have a look at that later. Now, the, over here is the pig farm. And it won't show up until you buy the area. I've also noticed you can't buy, you can't open the doors or anything like that when you've not owned the land. I did come in in farm manager mode. You don't own any land and you don't have any of the equipment. So let's have a look at how much the lands are if you wanted to come in in Farm Manager. 82,000 there, 63, 40, 36, and 30. So the lands aren't too expensive. You could quite quickly build up a farm. So what's the biggest field? Probably that one, 214, is probably the biggest field. And if I can have a look a little bit around, where's the smallest? Probably field 1, by the looks, 38. Oof. So we'll go from 27 and all those in between. There are contracts on the field. There's also transport emissions, so that's tickety boo. And one, two, three, four. Places of sale. Is there a BGA? Let's have a little, a little look. Now I have noticed, like this area here, doesn't light up until you buy the area. I'm not really seeing any anywhere that would look BGA-ish. You may have to put your own BGA down. If you want one of them. Now the chickens are at the side of the house, running rampant and wild. And uh, that's about it. I've not spotted any sheep on the map. That's about it as far as animals go. So chickens, pigs here. So this is where you'll spawn the farmhouse the second time you come in the map after you've saved it. So we start with a massive Ferguson 5610, 105 horses, a New Holland T6, 155, the New Holland TX32 with a 5600 capacity, and its header at 4 metres for normal grains. You've got the Agriliner tipper, uh, 21,000. You have a plough at 
5 meters. Let me just check something here. Oh yeah, I can just about pull that plow. What am I going to say? That's a bit... Uh, and we have a cultivator, a power harrow, a seeder for your normal grains, a planter for your other crops, a sprayer 36 meters. That's not about uh, that's not about a do for, for a starter out thing. You also have a fertilizer sprayer, a forage mixer. That's nice to start with. A Joskin water trailer. What does that hold? Let's have a look, ski. You know that? No, that's an odd number, isn't it? You'd have to fill that with our buckets. And we have uh, 7,300 in the water trailer, front loader arm, some front loader tools, the bale spike, which belongs to this here. I don't know why you'd want this bale spike. If you've got that, unless you want to put that at the other farm, but there we go. A header trailer, a couple of weights, and your farmhouse. Now, in farm manager mode, you only have this farmhouse. So let's have a look around this area that you do own. You can go into these doors. Oops. Can I get in there? Yes. So they all, they all open, which is rather nice. Uh, I was losing some wire. I can't get through a wide door on some maps and uh, I can get through that nice slim one there. So you will struggle opening these doors if you uh, if you haven't bought the land. don't think we can get through there. Let's put this on for, for now. So that one does open. Now this is your feed area and where you will spray your hay in. No you won't, you'll spray your straw in. Um, I don't think it takes bales. I don't think it does. I know the pig area doesn't so I'm going to take it as this. This is the same. Um, I had to use the straw sprayer. This is where you buy your cows. So we get 200 in this pen right here. Lovely little, little pasture for them. Here's some of your equipment. So we don't own any other fields around here, just the farmyard. So if you'd like to buy this with sugar beets. It's going to cost you 57000 So there's no nipping through, um, through the hedges on this map. Roads are a little tight. The yards are a little tighter. So, uh, not your big equipment on this map. And there's two silage bunkers here. There's one. There's two. Look at that. It's already placed for you when you're going to use it. Absolutely. Wonderful. Now, these, I think, are the only static animals on the map. That's not too bad. I'll let that I'll let that slide. But normally I don't like static animals, they do just tack up megabytes that just don't need to be there. There's your slurry point. Round the other side I missed it. That's your poop point. Here. Can we close this door? I don't think so. Oh we can. Oh, go blind, Charlie. Now, some more of your equipment in this shed. Uh, 
and around here is a workshop, a diesel point and a bit more of your equipment. What I have also noticed is it's set up for the animal pen extension. If you saw there was room for 200 castle here. And if I jump this fence. There we go, it's set up with the water system. So that is the immediate farm you own with all your equipment. Now, I think we'll take flight and have a little fly around the map. And we'll uh, get a vehicle at the shop. We'll have a little drive around on this one because it's a little map. So as you can see by the map, the shop is north of the farm we have. And I've got old Frenchy and got a Renault. I did get that one. It's uh, German flags on. <laughs> we can't have that. Let's uh, head on down the road. What we'll do, we'll head to the pig farm first. And uh, I can show you around the place. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll zoom out so you can see a little bit of the map. So there you go, there's traffic on the map. Lovely little windy roads. Uh, just up there at the top of the screen you will spot your house. It's a beautiful map. If you like using small or old small equipment hold it we'll just pull into the driveway right here so this is the house a little low res on the house but well, that's not a problem this is where your eggs will spawn this is your buy point for your hens and uh, there's your feed trough you do own this land uh, you don't in new farmer sorry farm manager you don't own the land but you own the house uh, that's that's pretty uh 
There we go. So chickens are free range. I think there's even, there you go, some out the front. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's move across to the pig farm. So some shedage area. Now if you buy this land and then want to sell it again, It says you can't sell until you get rid of items you own on this farm. And you have to sell the silo, which is here. That all disappears, you've just got the shed. And the silo does hold 100,000. So if we go into here, you'll see we have nothing. I'll buy this area. And all of a sudden we have some crops and we have a hundred thousand in the silo. We go move across. Now there is a wool cell point, so you could put a sheep pasture down if you wish. <coughs> this area here is for food. And this is where you blow your straw into. As I said, it doesn't take bales. And over here is a light switch. Whoa. Let's jump over there. Here's where your manure spawns. Here's your flurry. And you can buy your uh, pigs just here. Let's just get uh, a few. There you go. And your water point set up with your animal pen extension if you've got it is there. Hello, Pokey. Uh, there is one other shed I think round here with another garage for you. I don't think there's a fuel point but there is a mechanic shop there you go just in there and the light switch that's a beautiful beautiful thing right let's head on down the road I can tell you Loire Atlantique is in the western part of uh, France near uh, the Gothic Chateau de Bux de Brigitine I can't even pronounce that let's not even go there let's forget all that but it's known for its canals uh, rich bird life around this area of vineyards near the medieval town of Clisson which uh, has the trademark for making muscadet white wine around this area well, there we go now we're coming down to a couple of cell points here and these are small cell points for, for small so this is the egg cell point, and here is, <laughs> believe it or not, believe, believe it or not, this is your sawmill. There you go, cell wood. Now I, I don't know if it takes wood chips in here, but I know that's your cell wood point. So, uh, not your typical sawmill, like you find on a map. 
Now just down here, I think it's the, on the right, is the dairy. And uh, the animal dealer. There's the dairy. And here's your animal dealer. Woohoo! Let's get back out of there. I'm going to head north up the map. We'll go over to that fuel point on the eastern side. Oh, we can have a look at the cow pasture while we're here. Oh, 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 this is a bit bumpy, isn't it? Oh, blimey, Charlie. Watch them. Watch your rocks. Watch your rocks. Maybe I should have brought the uh, more modern van, shouldn't I? <coughs> it would have been, it would have saved my spine. I think we're going, yep, down here. Again, a water point with your water system and a bit of a feed trough. Nowhere I can see spawns of milk, so this just must be a summer pasture. Oh, let's spin it round. Oh, I can get this way. I can get if I don't hit the fence. So the fields look quite a reasonable size, to be honest. For a small map, um, using smallish equipment, it's, it's, they're not bad sized fields at all. It's a beautiful map. Oh, oh goodness gracious me, I've just, uh, that's no good for the spine. Little grass past you there. What do you think of the map? It's very pretty, isn't it? Very, uh, very beautiful area. So this is one of our fields here on the right. It's got a bit wheat. Ready to harvest. You're not going to get your big stuff down, down these roads. Um, trying to look for the entrance to the field. It's probably down that way. Goodness gracious me. Let's get our foot down. Let's get our foot down see if we can pick up a little bit of speed here. So as you can see, we're nearly back at the shop. And there's our farm over there. So just come in here. Some shedage. This, this must, there's the fuel point there, right there. Oh no, I can open this. Uh, I don't own the land. Amazing. I can't see a trigger. The fixing vehicles. 
There we go. Now there's one more cell point just up the north here and a cow pasture. And that's basically a look around the map. So at least we're off the uh, the bumpy roads anyway. So this is also your field on the right. There's the entrance. And there's your cow pasture. Woo! Switch to field. Switch to pasture. Now there's a nice thing. So you can have it as a pasture. You can have it as a field. That's a that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. You can just move this out of the way, whatever you want to do. So you have the choice. I didn't see that in the other one down there. There we go. So that's a nice, uh, that's a nice option, a nice feature. Then we come into this here, which is the last cell point. Now, there's a lime station here. Let's just turn that off. So we've got your cell points. Right there. There's your lime station. And here's a little gizmo. Uh, the Waybridge, that does work. Look at this. Activate the probe. I've not worked out what the probe does. I've even had a trailer under here with some cropping. But I haven't got a clue. There you go ladies and gents, that's this map. I hope uh, you like the tour I did. If not the map. If so, please give us a thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. Let me know, what do you think of this map? I think it's quite a beautiful little map. So until next time, stay safe, enjoy yourself in whatever you do. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.